Hey there, folks. It's Ethan the Farmer, and guess what? It's finally Friday. Maybe. Anyway, uh, it is Friday uh, here in the middle of October. Uh, nice, cool, crisp, chilly morning with a bunch of fog. And uh, feels like it ought to rain, but it's not quite raining. So uh, we're out here um, doing our best to make a difference and do what we need to do. Uh, had some good chats last night with a bunch of different good folks on the phone. Um, seems like a lot of the world is discouraged. And uh, in some ways, I think there's good reason for it. I think there's a lot of good reason to be discouraged with our world as we see it. Whether it be uh, politics, jobs, family, uh, life in general. It's kind of challenging. And uh, it makes a lot of folks get really discouraged. So I thought I'd ask, today when I came on, I thought I'd ask, uh, what's one thing today that's positive that you got to be thankful for? One thing. Um, I'm thankful for my spe smelly night doggy that goes just about everywhere with me and keeps the human in line. Because, well, the humans won't do it. So we got to leave it up to night dog. That's her job. She's my co-pilot, my navigator, my sidekick. Um, and she goes pretty much everywhere with the human. I'm also thankful for the core group of folks that, uh, yeah, kind of humor my adventures um, and keep going. But, you know, I just thought I'd come on here and talk a little bit about this because it's something that I've th been thinking about. And it kind of seems to me that yeah, there's a lot of reasons to be discouraged with our politics. There's a lot of reasons to be discouraged with a lot of things in our world. Hurricanes, fires, floods, derechos, if you live in Iowa. And it's just not fun. It's not a pleasant way to live. And, uh, you know, a lot of folks don't really enjoy their jobs. Um, there's not much they enjoy about anything in life. And I kind of would question that because if you're not enjoying anything in life, whether it's giving back and helping others, which usually brings me great joy, and even brings my doggy great joy, she has a lot of fun meeting all the people and making friends with the children. And the other day she was playing in a sandbox with a little girl at somebody's house, and she just thought that was the greatest thing. Um, but, you know, it's this thing where our world is so gimme, gimme, gimme. What about me? What about me? What about me? That it doesn't really care about others. And doesn't care about um, much other than what can I get. And that whole concept, I think, is a lot of what's leading to the corruption of our politics. Um, you cannot tell me that our politics is not greed-driven. Because uh, I firmly believe that our politics is strongly greed-driven. And that greed is what has led to the corruption. Um, for those of you folks that are religious-based, um, there's a specific verse that says, the love of money is the root of all evil. And with these folks put money in front of everything it corrupts them and frankly money doesn't bring happiness because if it did all these folks would not be so unhappy <clears throat> but you know that's just part of this this problem we live in and maybe we need to go back to more of a barter system what if you uh, traded instead of earned money what if you bartered and that provided your sustenance and your needs you know it's one of those things I've been given a lot of thought to you know financial stuff because here the first of the year I'm planning on hitting the road and that's going to eliminate a pretty large chunk of the money that makes this whole organization go round it's going to make it a really tough road to tow but um, 
Boy, this guy don't know how to drive a trailer. He must be new. Um. Anyway, it uh. You got to have a lot of faith to step out, and you got to be willing to put that faith into practice, even when it comes to your money. What if there's a job that you're better suited for and more passionate about, but yet it doesn't make as much money? Isn't that where you should be? As far as I'm concerned, this objective of the American culture and frankly most of the world that money is what we need is wrong. Oh my goodness, another truck driver. That's two for one this morning. And you got to lock up your brakes because some trucker pulled out in front of you because, yeah, it's dumb. But anyway, um, it's something that needs to be thought about. And I think that if people would concentrate more on what they're doing that is uh, making a difference... For the better in this world, they wouldn't be so unhappy because they wouldn't be so concentrated on things, on money. And I think that would lead to a lot less depression, frankly. And as far as the family led depression, I could write a book about that. I was the black sheep from the time I could walk. Um, I'm still the black sheep, although I'm not a I'm not really black, I'm kind of white, but you know, I'm still the black sheep and as far as uh, my family goes. They could, w they would wish that I didn't exist, but it is what it is, you know? I've had them say some really nasty things to me over the years. Uh, and that's the way life goes. Um, I've pretty much come to the conclusion that I won't have another family. I don't think that there's a woman out there that could tolerate a feller quite like me. Um, but, you know what? At least I'm getting out of bed every day and I'm going out here and I'm doing my best to make a difference. And Night Doggy's coming along and she's doing her best to try to keep the human in line. Because she thinks the human does some weird stuff some days. Um, since it was raining outside this morning, Night Dog's decided she needs to give herself a bath while the human is uh, on the video. But, you know, we really need to give some thought to all of these messes that we've created in this world. Because I'm pretty certain the cows didn't create money. I'm pretty certain the dogs didn't create money. Although they might have traded cats. Um, I know the cats didn't create money because they can't stand the dogs. And all of the above. It's one of these things where the humans have created a system that, in all reality, is the root of why so many people are so upset. Be it politics, be it family. I mean, a lot of family fights. You know what they boil down to? Dollar. A lot. I mean, my family berates me for my choices in life to not be nothing but money centric and you know they don't agree with me well I don't agree with them quite a few of them have amassed great adventures on this side of life and frankly they're gonna need a hearse with a trailer hitch because they got a bunch of stuff that they can't take with them and it doesn't make good sense. But when you have, you live your life the way you feel you're supposed to, and things were done to you or involved you as a child that made you the black sheep, children don't pick that. Let me tell you, children do not pick their parents. There's absolutely no way for a child to say, well, I want this parent. But yet, in our culture, a lot of children are faulted by their parents which for the way they turn out you know and it just isn't right so it's one of those things where we really need to think about it and give it some thought 
and you know frankly they ought to try to make up the best they can granted I tried and trying to make up with a cactus usually ends up with stickers in your hand at least this is my experience so I've come to the conclusion with most of my family members it's best to keep them at arm's length because it, they just don't understand and all they got is negative Nelly stuff to say I get tired of it it's just not not a good thing I mean one of the reasons why I'm excited to get back on the road is I won't be here in Lancaster County dealing with craziness associated with my family because that gets really stressful ongoing adventure but it is what it is you can't change your family you're stuck with them you can make a new family but even when I tried that the new family abandoned ship when the going got tough so it is what it is um, you know I pray every night somebody decides they'd like to hang out with me and like to be my teammate and try and change the world but I'm not convinced somebody's out there with that big a backbone at least I haven't seen it yet and that's going to require one mess of a backbone but it is what it is so anyway I just thought I'd uh, give you these thoughts here this Friday morning you know Friday nights are fairly rough for me I don't know about the rest of y'all but it's kind of depressing when you hear about folks going out on dates and going out to the movies together and do, <laughs> getting ready to do family stuff for the weekend and all you got is your own thoughts yuck you know my thoughts they run around in an empty head and get lost they scare each other they go boo scare the other thoughts but that's the way it is so anyway i hope you guys have a great weekend uh we're gonna be doing i believe we're gonna be going out and doing some kind of paint uh and chemical turn in thing helping out a nonprofit doing some green uh culture type stuff trying to get people to throw away stuff the way they ought to instead of contaminating the rest of the environment in the world so that ought to be exciting i'm looking forward to seeing how this goes and maybe i'll write an article about it many thanks to kingdom promotions for inviting us uh, if there's any of you folks listening to this and you're uh interested in volunteering at an event uh and the kingdom promotions has got piles of different kinds of odd stuff um and the money going to fund either our nonprofit or one of your or a local nonprofit that you're involved in shoot me a message i'll hook you up with the guy he's a really cool guy he might be an ex-hippie or he might even still be a current hippie but he's a really cool guy um i really like him enjoyed some time i spent with him and i think uh we need more people on this earth like him you know but that's part of life we need more people that are good folks there's too many of them out there that are gimme 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 and forget about how can i help you what can i do for you so give it some thought enjoy your friday uh have a good rest of your weekend if you're in the philly area and you want to get involved in this green thing shoot me a message we can use some more volunteers they said we could have up to 10 but right now there's just me myself and i but he told me that didn't qualify for three so anyway thank y'all take care